Dean, what's your immediate reaction to that one? Uh, good, to be honest with you, I thought uh, we gave her all um, and we were a little bit unlucky. We just see the Ryan de Havilland situation where he's got down the side from Efron's pass and the squared into Marion, it wasn't offside. Um, and we thought we equalised, you know, tiny bit sloppy and naive from, from F. He's sort of gone too early for the tap in. Um, but we gave her all and that's all we can ask of the team. We conceded early again, which must have been uh, really frustrating given the uh, the preparation that had gone into it. Two errors for, the, for their first uh, two goals, which are frustrating. But it's been like that most of the season. So, um, And then, obviously, we miss a penalty. Our goalie makes a great save from a penalty. We show a good response. We make a couple of tactical changes at half-time and we showed a good response second half. Um, we had some, lots of chances to uh, get something out of the game and we didn't take them. What was, what was said at the break is obviously we brought on t- two new players and they seemed to make c- quite an impact. Yeah, just from a selection point of view today, I felt after what happened, especially in the first half at uh, Dagenham on Friday, you know, them players there get get the opportunity to right that wrong. Um, so the easy thing for me to be would have been to, you know, just take them out and rotate. But you know, we were in all weekend. We had wards, staring wards. And to be fair, I'm, I'm happy with the reaction. I'm not happy with the result, but I'm happy with the performance and the reaction. Um, Powley's obviously been out for a long time he hasn't played many games this season so I just felt Mazza come in give us an injection and, and Hawley the same and he did so uh, I didn't think Greeny had his greatest day I thought Cardwell gave him a hard time so we just made a couple of subtle changes and our performance improved You've you already sort of touched on it already but there was only, only one change to the team uh, from our, our defeat at Dagenham can you talk us through that? Yeah basically yeah was the, you know from, like I say it's easy you can just you know, the boys have got to face the music. You know, when you get hammering like we got down there, you've got to come out and step and face the music. So um, I felt it was, it, I'll give them the opportunity to right that wrong. So, um, like I say, half time was difficult. The next goal was always going to be key. Um, we made some subtle changes, we had a formation change. So, yeah, and we got back in the game and we gave ourselves an opportunity. The next goal was always going to be huge and we managed to get it. We gave ourselves an opportunity and we missed some really good chances. Mars had a good effort. Uh, Hawley had a, a touch as he was going in on goal and with a goal chopped off which was offside it shouldn't have been offside it was, it was, you know, we missed a penalty so we've had a go and um, football's a funny old business There seems to be small margins today obviously two, two, two sloppy goals conceded F, F misses a penalty how, how frustrating is that given the work that's no, gone no, into it Nothing no can do about that it's individual errors um, so yeah you know, the higher you go the less mistakes players make because um, you will become a better players basically so uh, the key for us is just, like I say, dust ourselves down, lick our wounds again and move on to the next game. That's, there's, there's not a lot I can do about it. Um, you know, ideally, I'd like all the players that are in the treatment room on the pitch. No Beard, no Torley, no Oxborough. They all play. Um, no Witherston, who's a massive player for the team. So, you know, you can go through it. They all sort of play in this team. So, um, yeah, it's a loss, but what can I do? They're as good as me when they're in there. So... Um, their players today gave their all and I'm, I'm proud of their performance they've, they've gave their all and that's all we can ask of them On to Eastley now and obviously uh, I'm sure you'll be looking for, for a similar performance to what we showed in, in the second half uh, when, when, we, when we go there next Saturday Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know how they got on today um, Like I said we've got to dust ourselves down get the game plan right we've got to stick to the game plan that's so important um, You know, we've got to, we're, we're, we're naive we're just a little bit naive um, and uh, yeah we're in, a, we're in a bad run of form you just got to walk hard, like I said to you the day. Got to go man for man, walk hard in the opposition. I don't think I thought everyone walked their socks off today. I don't think anyone shared responsibility in that department. Um, but errors cost us, and then obviously good opportunities in the second half. We sort of had them on the ropes, we didn't take them. So um, that's where we're at. We'll just move on to the next game. And what's your message to the Barnet supporters? Yeah, thanks again. Uh, positive support, some brilliant support before the game. Um, and uh, you know, ideally, we just got to make sure we continue to stick together. And uh, we'll keep giving our all, that's all we can do.